Despite the quality chemical industries opening its doors for the manufacturing of ARVs and anti-malarials in 2007, by the year 2010-2011, it only supplied 14% of its products to the government of Uganda and imported 76% from an Indian manufacturing concern, Sipla, at inflated price of 15% markup. This to the anti-corruption coalition was contrary to the contract that required quality chemicals to produce much of its products for Ugandan market but ended up importing more, making government lose 44 billion shillings. But some of our programs and the projects that we are running, it is still clear that Ugandan prices, medicines especially for ARVs and anti-malarials, are the highest within the region. And we know how as a country we are affected by malaria, we know as a country the rates of HIV. According to the agreement, quality chemicals was required to manufacture ARVs and anti-malarials at a cheaper price and government would buy all drugs. But despite all this information being in IGJ's report 2011, nothing has been done, thus the need for action. There are the various ministries that should have taken this up, but again I don't think it has been taken up. Quality Chemical Executive Director Emmanuel Katongole denied breaching the contract, saying the company manufacturing capacity has increased and is now supplying the surplus to neighboring Kenya. Katongole indicates that the company is producing 600 million tablets daily, of which 2 million pills are ARVs. We therefore called you categorically refute the allegations that were given this morning. They are malicious, they are early intentioned, they are part of a propaganda to destroy the economy of this country. Harry Stembo, WBS.